Okay, I know I haven't made a uh, video tutorial in a really long time, and that's because I've been too busy. Anyway, uh, today I'm going to show you how to uh, format a drive. Uh, formatting basically means to uh, erase everything from a drive or USB flash drive and uh, redo the file system. So, like, for instance, when you install a uh, operating system, you have to reformat your... Uh, your uh, hard drive to NTFS or FAT32. Anyway, uh, so you're not going to want to do this on your uh, your hard drive that holds your operating system, obviously. So if you have a extra hard drive or a USB flash drive that you want everything off of as fast as possible, you're going to want to do this. Like, for instance, I noticed that I'm using this really slow 1 gigabyte uh, flash drive I have. I noticed that's a lot faster to do this to rid it of all its data than to uh than to instead <sighs> okay oh then to instead of just deleting uh all the things by highlighting everything and and deleting them like with the delete key it's faster to just format it anyway uh first you're gonna want to go to start run or you can also press windows key r a lot of people don't know about that. You can press Windows key R or go to start run, and then type uh, CMD, which will bring up your command prompt. And then you want to type, uh, then after that's up, go ahead and go to start my computer, and then figure out which, which uh, disk you're going to be formatting. You don't want to format your C drive, which is generally your op the, the drive that holds your operating system. But uh, I'm going to be formatting a flash drive today, which obviously won't affect anything. So I have all these confidential documents on here that I want to get rid of. So uh, I'm going to reformat the drive, which is I. So then since it's, it's drive I, then I will type uh, format I colon dash... F FS for file system, and then colon again, and then I'm going to use FAT32 because this flash flash drives don't support NTFS. But if you're reformatting a large hard drive, uh, you're going to want to use NTFS because it's a way better file system and can support more space. So, uh, so if it's like a large, like 150 gigabyte or something, use NTFS. You would just type, instead of what I have, you would type NTFS here instead of FAT32. Okay, and then you just press enter. And then it says whatever, and then you press enter again. And now it, uh, now it says the type of file system is FAT32. It's verifying. And it's only 967 megabytes. See, they screwed me, even though it says 1 gigabyte. Anyway, uh... Now it says initializing the file allocation table, fat, volume label, 11 characters. Uh, you can put a volume label on, it doesn't really matter, so I'm just going to press enter. And then it it shows all my stuff, and uh, the volume serial number and all this, and it's done. It's already done. Uh, it would have taken me like 10 minutes to delete everything with the delete key. Well, let's check out drive I. Look, there's nothing on it anymore. So we successfully just formatted that drive. So now that it's completely clear of all data, and uh, it took like two seconds or something. So, so anyway, that's how you can do that. If you're going to be do it using a larger file uh, hard drive, then you're going to want to use NTFS and not FAT32. But if it's older and it's only like 10 gigabytes or something, then you want to use FAT32. Plus, if if uh, NTFS isn't supported for whatever reason, then it's going to tell you that it'll be like. This file system is not supported for uh, your your. See, watch. I'll demonstrate. I'll format that again. Watch. If I try to format this as NTFS, then it uh, goes. Then when I click Enter, it says NTFS file system is not supported on this device. See, so you can't uh, format. It'll tell you that if you can't format it as NTFS. So uh, if it says you can't, so first try formatting as NTFS because it's better, and if it says you can't, then use FAT32. Anyway, that's how you can do that if you uh, need to clear everything off a hard drive or an external hard drive or USB flash drive or whatever. It's actually really easy, and uh, 
should be really easy to do for you.